So this is just a quick video to further talk about the differences between a compound ternary and a smaller simple ternary like we've been looking at in class. So a big ternary form or a compound ternary form is a big ternary. It's much larger, it's more music, it's gonna be more measures. Uh, and it's typically a whole movement of a multi-movement work versus the ternary and binary forms we've been looking at have been sort of subsections of other things. In a bigger compound ternary, those subsections in that, the A, the B, and the A, are going to be forms in of themselves. So they're going to be binaries or ternaries. Then you'll move on to another binary or ternary and so forth. So I think a fun example to think about this or analogy is the Earth. At this level, we can see that we're looking at the Earth, but sort of focused in on the United States. And we can see the boundaries of the US here clearly laid out, at least the lower 48 states here. But then as we start to zoom in, we can see further details come into play. And when we get to a point, we can see right there, all of a sudden we have the states outlined. So we see that it's not just one country in this case, but it is actually a country made up of these smaller subsections, or we call them states uh, in this way. So both exist, both the states and the larger thing exist, and we can refer to them as both of those things, but it depends on what level of detail we're talking about. So the same thing applies to a compound ternary in that both its larger description and the more detailed description can apply. Both names work, whether we can call it a compound ternary, then we can say the A section of that compound ternary is a binary form and the B section is also a binary form, etc. This is also the same thing in our smaller form. So when we've been talking about, for instance, rounded binary, we can show at a phrase level that the A of a rounded binary is two phrases. So that's two different ways to talk about it. We can say the whole thing is rounded binary, but the A section itself, the smaller bit, is a parallel period. And then the B section is a contrasting period, uh, to use an example. So it's different ways of talking about the same thing, and it just depends on the scope and the level of detail that you're engaging with, whether it be the individual state level on Google Maps or you zoom out to get the view of the United States as a smaller part um, in which the, the boundaries inside of it sort of disappear a little bit and you can consider it as the whole thing.